Let's go all day, every day. Yes, sir. First and foremost, we got to say congratulations to Brian and, of course, his lovely wife, Emily. They got oh, married. Gee whiz, man. They you did it. The cry, boy. They, they put the, they put the <laughs> ring on. I was there, of course. I was 50% of the best man. As, as always, we are a trio. You got to represent all day of the week. Um, we, uh, there was so much uh, gizzard presence there. As funny as that sounds, oh I, I there were shout outs from <laughs> the Gizzvers podcast to to King Gizzard all over the place. Emily had a shout out. Dave had a shout out. There was a uh, Dave had his binder and it was just a big nonagon on it when he was. Uh, if Amazing, you didn't dude. know what was going on. You thought that this guy was reading from the devil's Bible or some shit like that. Like, 100%. <laughs> yeah. you, you, it just looked like a big nonagon. Like, you know, to the everyday. And it's red. You know what I mean? Black and red. Those are the colors that are on the. Oh, yeah. So if you're not familiar with that at all, it definitely looks pentagonish. You know what I mean? It, it looks devil worshipy. Some might like say, a but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Yeah, for sure. I was dying laughing. There was several times where I laughed. I was giggling. Uh, me and Mojo were having moments uh, privately of laughter. It was a very happy uh, <laughs> event. We, I, we got there, I think, at 11 and just hung out with the boys all day long, partied down. Yes, sir. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. Congratulations. I'm glad you had a good time, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah, you no, I'm me, glad I had a good time, I appreciate too. it. I flew in. Dude, and Tesla. thank you very much for that. I was really happy to have you there and come loose. And uh, yeah, I, I kept thinking about... This sounds funny. I kept thinking about the podcast and just like it, it, it was just funny, man, how things came together. You know, like we had the Cy Goodies boys at, on the podcast and now all of a sudden Dave, the beautiful blonde mastermind behind our uh, yeah, our engagement, really uh, doing the like nuptials and stuff up there. Dress as a priest, hair flowing. It was, it was all just very surreal, man. Um, the little like like you said, the, the nonagon flowing around first. Our first, uh, or no, yeah, when we walked, when the groom's party walked out and the bridesmaids walked out, song bumping was her and I, of course, how appropriate. And then when the groomsmen walked out, cellophane, it's like, come on, man. Just just a little nod, you know what I mean? Just a little nod. I totally forgot Why about not? that. I totally forgot about that. That's awesome. That's, that's so funny, man. And uh, we said maybe we'll renew our vows in five years and uh, hopefully Gizzard can make it. So if you're listening to this podcast, start, start hitting them up right now. We'll just we'll plant the seed now. And we'll see if, we, if they can make it out there. House band, perhaps I don't know. Maybe they get Babe House Rainbow to pay band. to be the band. That would be amazing. We got a lot of work to do from from now and, and got to, a lot of work to do. Yeah. That, we got a lot of lot of lot of friendship building to do uh, before they're playing at <laughs> weddings and shit. Have no joke. Met us once and that's it. I, I don't know. We we got a lot of work to do. We're working on it. We're working on it, man. But congratulations, We're on it, man. We're working on it, right? How was the honeymoon? Did you guys do anything special, or did you get right back to business? I didn't, I haven't oh, asked you these questions. Uh, immediately this back to business. Real. You know, uh, really happy. Uh, we actually didn't book a honeymoon like the day. Some people will do like honeymoon the day after and stuff like that. You know, which is very cool. This and that. We didn't do that. Uh, she's got friends getting married in the next couple. Like, well, we we went to a wedding this. What was that? Yeah, this past weekend, um, for one of her. For actually her uh, best woman, what do you call her? The maid of honor. Maid of honor. Not. Yeah. Madam so. of mystery. Maid of honor. Madam of mystery. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, so, but very fun. The day after the wedding, we got viciously struck with COVID. I mean, vicious, hard, rock hard COVID. So, um, have you had we it before? Were planning at the house for about two weeks. Second time. Yeah. Second time. Okay. Do you, do you think this for is? Both of us, do yep. you think it's another variant? Oh man, I don't know. I mean, it felt uh, feels pretty similar. You know what I mean? It's the same, uh, you know, uh, similar strand. I would say this one kind of hit me a little stronger. It's just blowing my nose like a madman. I feel like my voice still sounds a little weird. Um, yeah, I, I like took a test, and uh, the, like the one that we have usually wait like fifteen minutes for like a little line to pop up or whatever. The line popped up in, like thirty seconds. It's like if I was riddled with it. Like, oh dude, you are you are loaded. Um, so that was a lot of phone calls and texts we had to. Hey, thank you so much for coming to the wedding, man. You had a good time? Sick, man. We did too. Sick, man. By the way, we, we were, were riddled with COVID. Not another soul got it, though. Crazy. That sucks, man. I I didn't get it. That is good. I, I, I'm i sorry that you guys yeah. got I did feel a little I mean, we're happy sick, nobody got it, of course. But I just can't. It's mostly because I, you know, I arrived. I My flight was midnight Friday. 
And then I got there <laughs> 6 a.m., hey. went to the gym, worked out, and then came to the wedding. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I, I was trying to curb that a little bit, but that sucks that you guys got sick. Um, but good good that you guys kept it contaminated within you, within yourselves. I Honestly, we're really stoked. I mean, there were you know, some elderly folks and stuff at the at the wedding we of course wouldn't want to pass that on to them and stuff or anybody yeah. of course but like uh and you know it was it was funny because I, I obviously had to call out of work for those days and everything but <laughs> i mean you know we were sick but not like deathly ill or anything so we hung out i s- spun a lot of records watched some tv and stuff um so that was the honeymoon you know, it was it was a, a nice bonding that was a good honeymoon so that was our our uh round one of the honeymoon yeah covid excellent. covid so honeymoon excellent. Okay, that's awesome, man. I'm I'm happy. COVID for you. honeymoon, man. A little a little co- cove honey, cove honeymoon. I can't make that work. I, I'm gonna stop. I I can't make that work. Let's let's get real. <laughs> drop it, man. Drop, drop it. it. I'm gonna drop it right now. <laughs> get real, dude. That's good that your uh, your job gave you some time off. That's that's nice of them to do that. They're I'm sure they're yeah. obligated, you know, because of the COVID thing. It's almost <laughs> like I don't know. You're coming in, buddy. <laughs> it's almost like you planned it perfectly. You know, nobody else got COVID. Nobody, just you and Emily. And then Oops. all of a sudden, just you and Emily get sick, and then now you get four weeks off of work. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. This is weird. Some would say scam you got going on over there, but I totally get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I totally scheming. Get it. Scheming. Scheming. Uh, let's, let me tell you what. Thank God I'm back because your boy was getting on the broke, and I was like, listen, man, I can't. This is not the way to start a marriage. You know what I mean? I got I to gotta <laughs> get back in the lab, dude. daddy. Yeah, weddings aren't, <laughs> weddings aren't cheap, so that's uh, that. It, it, it always yeah. happens. It takes a... Uh, Takes a kneecap out of you, but that's good, man. You gotta pronounce your <laughs> wedding. your wedding was sick though. It, it was de- it was a buck wedding. Usually, it was nice, right? It was, yeah, it was pretty, man. Yeah, um, having kids there would have brought it down a little bit. You know, they they would have been the main main piece. Who you telling? Piece of attention. So, you guys had an open bar, dude. So that's always sick. Yes, yeah, uh, wide open. Gotta open it up. Gotta bust it. I will say, you're uh, this isn't a criticism. It's just more of like now I know what kind of drinker you are. You're I don't know if this is out of laziness or not. So Emily had a Tom Collins, right? That was her drink, right? Yeah. Okay. And that makes sense. Both it's of our ladies were. drink. That's a, that is, I would not, okay. I don't want to get, Hey, let's not get weird here. But that, I would say like, you know, that that's traditionally a, a lady's drink back in the day. Um, your drink on the other hand was like with a splash of super sweet on top of it. No, no, no. You see, no, listen, listen. Get that evil away from us. Okay. A Tom Get Collins that evil away from me, is okay? already, uh, 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 not, like I said, not, I wouldn't say a female drink, but it's certainly not a whiskey on the rocks. You know what I mean? And, and you're, No, hell no. <laughs> Those are signature cocktails, Tommy. God damn it. And listen, hold on. But, but no, listen. No, okay. Emily's choice is great. So, I'm not condemning. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so both, both of us fuck with Tom Collins pretty heavy, okay? And our, our play on it to make it the signature drink was going to be instead of simple syrup, we got like um, she got a, a ginger. Like it's not exactly a simple syrup. It's more like a eh, whatever we'll call it simple syrup. More like a puree kind of thing. Right. Uh, hers is ginger because she has the red hair. So we thought that'd be funny. Uh, and then mine was uh, guava because I'm, you know, I'm Puerto Rican as a motherfucker, you know, and we love that shit. Um, so it was supposed to take place of the simple syrup that comes into Tom Collins. Yeah. I think at some point in time, the bartenders were putting simple syrup as well as the ginger and as well as the guava stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because I had one towards the end of the night and I'm like, yo, this is this is like candy up here, man. You know what I mean? And it should have never have been that that sweet. I mean, people loved a lot of people dug them. But um, but I know what you mean. I, I yeah, I definitely know what you're saying. That makes a lot of these sense. are. Yes, it makes more. It was supposed to be like a mild. Ooh, wow, that little like tang of ginger. Like, ooh, is that is that guava? Just kind of give it a little color. No, nah, I got one. It was like a it was like a Slurpee. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. It was a little. Uh, it was a little thick, and uh, I I <laughs> I was talking to the bartender a little bit too. I I, I asked Brent. I was like, oh, hey, yeah. did you get the uh, did you get the Brian special? And he said, yeah, it's really refreshing. I liked it a lot. And I was like, really? I was like, yeah, hell yeah, bro. And did you, man? He, he, did, <laughs> he did like real, it. man? No, he definitely liked it. He had a uh, he had a couple of them. I saw him popping them, dude. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> everything went good, dude. Everything went good. People were dancing. Smooth, man. Having a good time. People were dancing, man. I will say this. This is a funny thing that happened. Uh, your sister pointed out, I can't remember to who exactly, it might have been to Brent, but I'm huh. not. Oh no, it was the Dave. Okay, it was the Dave. Um, 
he, she said, hey, if you watch all this, there was a lot of, I would say, traditional Caucasian music being played at the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, sh- your sister of the uh, Puerto Rican descent said oh, to yeah. Dave, Hey, look at all look at all these Puerto Ricans sitting in the back. They don't know what to do with this white people music. <laughs> what and the hell is uh, this? and they didn't. They were just if you looked and Dave told me this and I was looking, they just all looked like kind of not upset, but just like kind of like, "All right, man, what's going on, bro? What's happening?" And then out of nowhere, <laughs> it, it I don't know what song it was, but it was definitely what I would consider Puerto Rican music and boom bro, yeah, like, that dance floor switched it's like it, it was cra- I've never <laughs> seen that happen before it was a very it was a buck environment so in other words everyone was happy everyone was happy you got the you got the traditional sure, yeah. <laughs> you know shout everybody shout the kind of stuff going got on to, and man, then the, uh, boom da, boom da, boom da, boom da, boom uh, and that shit uh-oh, going uh-oh, on uh-oh. too yeah so it was a fucking buck wedding dude buck wedding that doesn't happen all the time it was very uh usually you know like you have to like entice that kind of energy and there was some enticement you know what i mean come we on ha- it, well no we think about it like look at the the row of people that would are down to do whatever at that wedding mostly your crew but like me mojo curtis Tarek, joe the the mat uh mike may definitely dude the amount of people that are just like down to the goons man so we're gonna get (laughs) for sure get the party going so that energy's already there uh but yeah it just rolled man that that shit rolled which is good you want that and everyone was laughing everyone having a good time i will say i'm glad no one died or passed out it it, i know thank god one of your aunts uh had to sit down for a little bit it was a little warm outside did you see that yeah she wasn't doing too hot man i I felt bad that's the third wedding i've been to that that's happened where just like some really some person is is boom just fall down and i I don't know i don't know if it's a florida thing or not dude i don't know if it's a florida thing or not i mean florida be hitting bro you know be hitting out here man that's why my mom didn't come to, come to my wedding. She said she didn't want to do that. She was she was she was afraid of just passing out. Like, no, there, sir. Sitting there, boom. I guess it <laughs> I, does happen. I guess I prefer not to. I, I guess it happened. She didn't want to be that 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 one. Now you know, man. <laughs> <laughs>